Yeah, we are going out ski touring. And we're gonna explore a new area where we haven't been before. This video is mostly aimed to you who already knows how to ski but haven't necessarily gone back country yet and are interested to do so. This right here is a essential piece of equipment for ski touring. You put them under your skis and they give you the grip that you need to uh, ascend upwards in snow uh, with your skis on. And now uh, Sebastian is gonna demonstrate how you put them on. Put the skin holder. And then you apply it along the ski and try to get it as even as possible throughout the ski. Connect it through the back, stroke it so it's sitting firmly on the ski and you're set to go. Another essential equipment is the ski touring dog. Seriously though, uh, even more important is the adjustable ski pole. Not only is it very handy and easy to put in your bag, but also you want to have a longer pole when walking upwards and you want to be able to shorten it when you're about to ski down again. This may sound strange at first, but it's actually of great importance that you do not get warm or sweaty while touring up. Because then you get cold when you stand up top and taking off the skins and stuff like that. And then you won't have a good experience when you ski down. Good way to prevent this is proper clothing, which are breathable and also have extra ventilation. You can have extra clothes in your bag rather than extra clothes on your body. So while we are waiting for Yesayas to go down with the dog, it's gonna take some time to explain maybe, well, all equipment is important, but this one might just save your life. Uh, this is a transmitter and receiver combined in one object. Uh, called transceiver or beacon and it sends out a signal so in case of uh, an avalanche and you get stuck in an avalanche uh, your friends can find you. You turn it on in send mode we'll get a signal here and everything is sending as it should. If you want to search for somebody that has got stuck in an avalanche you put on search and we get search mode and I get have a signal now I think it's you you're really close. So basically what is happening now is that Sebastian's transceiver is having contact with mine and he just found me. And we have some more tools that are essential as well and we're gonna cover them along this tour. Skins are great to get up the mountain, but they're quite bad to get down. That's why, take them off. Probe. Good to have when you're searching for lost friends in avalanches. And even better to dig them out, you need a shovel. The essentials for avalanche rescue. You got the transceiver or beacon, shovel and probe. And now we're gonna do a extended column test, uh, something that everybody can do. We do this just to check the avalanche situation, if there's any weak layers in the snowpack, so we can take consideration for when we ski down later. So here you want columns that are 30 times 90. That's the most satisfying part. And now we will do some tests on this column and see how it reacts to pressure. 
10 taps. Nothing except for the top layer. Still nothing. So here we see this is the weakest layer we have here. When it goes all over. But that's not one we have to be very afraid of. Because it took some heavy force to get it off and it didn't propagate at all. Like if this whole thing would just collapse and come off, then it would be dangerous. Now we're just looking how the crystals in the layer looks. Rounded ice crystals. So if this layer were to collapse, it has a pretty easy time of sliding, but it didn't break too easy. So yeah, I'm not really afraid of that. So let's get to the fun part, getting down from here. That's a nice one, long way up, quite a short way down. Set, shoot and do set. Preferably you have a little bit of wider ski. I go with the Blizzard Russell 10 that is 102 in the waist. The tip is a little bit of rock around, so it carries, carries on the snow a little bit better. And it's a good all round ski. And if you want to go like deep yeah, pow, powder skiing, then you probably would need a little bit of a wider, maybe 118. There's some uh, different variations of it. I have the one with pins, check bindings. When you walk, you have just a toe piece connected to the boots. You lock your toe, then there are different heights you can adjust. If it's steeper terrain, you can get up to max. There's also the frame binding which is more of a alpine combined with tor ski touring binding. Then you have the whole frame moving up and down when you go up. I think that's pretty much it, but we can do a quick rundown about the uh, things you should think about. And first up is the safety gear, which yeah. is... Uh, you should always have a beacon or a transceiver with you. Uh, probe and a shovel so you can dig out your friends. And uh, get to know the gear before you use it as well. So. And that complies to skiing gear as well. Always try out your gear before you go out backcountry skiing. Yeah, and before you go backcountry, make sure to uh, educate yourself about avalanches. Take an avalanche course because if you're in a ski resort, they will uh, have uh, checked all the avalanches for you. And uh, out there, you need to be your own avalanche expert. Never go out by yourself. Uh, always bring a friend or a couple of friends so you can look out for each other, stay safe and have a lot of fun. That's probably the most important thing. Have a lot of fun. This looks like yeah, typical pro skiing packing of a car. Yeah, it's good good idea to just if you don't have that much space you can just throw everything in to the car. Hopefully it gets stuck. <laughs> <laughs> 